Well, the fashion industry is really booming in the country. Well, so much is really taking place. And when we talk about fashion, we're talking about so much of Ankara dressing. And of course, even men wearing the hoods and it's really taking it over. And everyone is like, wow, we love this, we love this. But however thought, who's always behind the, all these designs that we see? Well, there are quite a number of jewelers out there. But this morning, I'm joined by one. She happens to be one of the youngest anyway, as I can say, but still, from the earrings and everything else. Let's get to meet Shelmi the Nyawera. Karibu sana. Thank you. Feels nice to be here. I'm very, very pleasured and humbled mm -hmm. to be here. Great. Yes. So let's let's begin and uh, let's talk about you're the founder of Shell Shea. Yes, Shell Shea Fashion. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how, how did you begin all this? Um, it was, it's quite an interesting story. Cause Just make it brief. Yeah, let me make, make it so brief. It was, I went to Atira and uh, she did a dress. And I'm like, no, this is not what I wanted from my own mind. And uh, so I'm like, can we redo the dress? Now I told Atira, let's do right. the redo the dress. And she's like, it's okay, just sit down, we undo the dress and redo it. So we undid and uh, did it again. So in my mind, I was like, shall me, you can do this. And again, I'm very passionate about how people dress, how you look. And uh, so I'm like, shall me, you can do this. And that's how I started. Mm -hmm. I went home. After a few months, I bought a machine. The same dress, I undid it and redone it. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. If you're seated at home, kindly note that it's from mistakes that we get to have the biggest emerging businesses. She just said that. And shall we, from something you say that you saw, it's something not worth it for you to wear. And then you decided, let me redo it. Yes. Let me get something right here. Why, why would you venture into this other than anyone else other than the passion? Right, the reason that I ventured into fashion, I came to realize that most of us, we want to look good. Mm -hmm. We want our clothes to talk about us before we talk. Okay. Before we speak, I want my outfit to speak for me. Mm -hmm. I want to dress like I am famous mm. already. Hey. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I'm like, I think there's space in our country that I can bring some solution. There's a problem somewhere that mm -hmm. I can bring up solution. Awesome. Yes, so, and yet mm -hmm. again, we don't have so many designers. Yeah, we have so many tailors, but we don't have so many designers <laughs> in our country. Yeah. That's a hit. Hey. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm um, like, I think I can do this. And I went ahead and did it and went to school, did fashion, and I'm very happy about this. I cannot regret. Awesome. So yes. guys at home, there are very many tailors. <laughs> I correct myself, there are very many tailors, but few designers. Yes. And it's a hit. That's a punch. So Shell Meath, uh, Shell Share, when did you begin? How did you go about it? Because you just said that you just bought a machine. Yes. What did you know? What didn't you know when you were beginning? When I was beginning, I knew nothing. I didn't know anything about fashion. But I, I went to a school. I was passionate about interior design earlier on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to a school and I started doing curtains and all the decorative things. But again, when I was in the school, I was like, no, I don't, these things, I'll just, you just do straight things. You don't think there's no creativity in it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how to, to, to patch things together, how to bring things together. So I had to learn the skill mm -hmm. for me to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Shal, uh, it is, Exactly one year, two months. Yes. Since when you began shell share. Yes. So millions of kutoanga pia mo yuko just an individual thing. I started alone. I started in my house. I did in the house for like three to four months, and I'm like, okay, I got clients who are coming and they want to come to my workshop. So I started <coughs> in town. Mm -hmm. I, I combined with a friend mm -hmm. and I brought my machine in town and we started doing business together. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so uh -huh. initially I started alone. You began all by yourself yes, and I began you decided to launch myself. out. Yes. Uh, probably, you know, that there, are these, there's, there are quite a number of people who are saying, man, how do I even go about this? How do I get to venture into this? And yet you have talked about one machine. Yes. There's a capital to happy. Um, all right. Uh -huh. Let's talk <laughs> about inborn. that. It's uh inborn. -huh. <laughs> I think it's inborn. I don't know. I, Wamama, okay. Uh, Sawa. Yeah, I see. But I'm, I'm <laughs> going to be. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and I thank God. So I was in a, in a I was working in a certain company, mm -hmm. and in the company we used to have these chama, these small groups that we used mm -hmm. to save money. So 
and we used to save quite a lot of money because uh, yeah quite a lot of money mm -hmm. to be said at that time <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> hey investor yes it was uh -huh. good money uh -huh. at that time kuna pesa sasa hizi nikimention nitasikia kidogo but what? at that time Tell it, me. <laughs> it <laughs> was <laughs> a big uh -huh. you know yeah and uh, with that with that i was able to raise around 70000 mm -hmm. And I bought the first machine. All right. Yes. Well, last week we were talking about, uh, uh, two weeks ago, we were talking about the Chamas and their benefit towards even us as young people. How, can, how positive or negative are they? And it's such a lovely comment that you have given. It emerges to be something good. Well, Manze Koko Home, think of it. If you don't have money, you know, you can bank account, you can invest my millions. You can do 10K, 2K, kadao, kapanch, nini, begin something. So, me you have been doing so much over the last one year, of which you have really profoundly grown. What has led to this kind of growth within a span of one year? Um, I think connections. Mm -hmm. I can say I am a person of people, people's person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when I started, actually, my friends were the people who I did their clothes first. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Atakama stuck charge pesa mob. Let me try and do something for you right. and see if it's gonna mm -hmm. bring something good. Mm -hmm. And when I did, my friends have given me so much referrals. I can say 80% of my business is referrals. Yes. All right. Yes. Because so I started venturing into online, mm -hmm. I think, last month. So for you, you did something for people, and then they recommended people towards you. They just said, yes. this, this chick is doing something good. Yes. Wh wh why, why would you like be like, man, let me not venture really into the social media? And it's what is taking preeminence today. Why, la why last month? Okay, the, the reason that I was not into social media, despite the fact it's the thing that's bringing so much attention to people, it's because I was busy or wrong. Uh -huh. Like the referrals were too many that now if I market, I would have no. I would have maybe be like, ile unana ile kutia mafundi. Mafundi are always liars. Uh -huh. I don't like that. Ma so, <laughs> <laughs> is that true? First and foremost, is that true? Um, no, yeah, I can say there's, there's some truth in it. Uh -huh. There's some truth in it. Uh -huh. And now I don't want to buy that. I don't want to be that fundi. Where about, whereby you come and say, mm. hey, shell me, manze, fundule mzuri, ni wakinyozi tu, ama wanyole. Tunamalizania hapa. Eh, unamalizania hapa na story inaisha. So, I don't want to have that. I don't want to take so much business mm. that I'm not going to be able to do it. All right. So, I'm like, let me just take the referrals let me work on my referrals and maintain my clients wow yes. okay tell us what do you think about fashion business and it's really booming so what do you think about it what are some of the things that you feel like by the way these guys are good in these or rather what do you think like to venture into something so unique we'll be having a look at some of the things she has been making so uh, let's come back to you shalmit who are you working with right now uh apparently i have got some fundies like how many um i have three of them you have created employment yes, within a span of one year. Yes. That's nice. Even people would be like, wow, that's so amazing. And the, the business may not as much emerge to be so big, not so big, but it began something so small. Very, very small. I started in one machine and uh, nothing else. No fabric, no stock, nothing. Mm -hmm. I just had a machine. Like now, I used to go to Mtumba, mm -hmm. get some fabrics, those bed sheets, mm -hmm. and make something out right. of them. Yes, and make you, you just take the colorful ones and mm -hmm. you make something out of them. All right, yes. that's nice. So apparently, I have happened to realize that you do both men and women wear. Yes. Tell us more, because I've seen quite a number of designers, or yeah, you call them designers. They do, specifically nowadays, you have quite a vast number of people doing ladies wear. Why are you venture into both? Uh, apparently, I started with ladies, mm -hmm. ladies mm -hmm. wear, and uh, I realized that I also have a taste for men. And I'm like, why don't, why don't I venture into men? And when I did the first outfit, the client liked it. Right. So I was like, show me, you can do this. So I ventured into both. So mm -hmm. I just used to do the African wear for men, mm -hmm. but apparently I'm doing even suits. I've done right. several weddings, yes. So we'll be looking at that. We're looking into that in just a few. Shall we, between men and women, who are the most recipients? Um, women. 
women by a lot. So that's why you people venture so much into ladies. Into right? ladies, yeah. Because yeah. ladies, are, you don't want to have one outfit for a long <laughs> period of time. I like men. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, is that true? According now to the designer, what do you think? Do men wear just like, uh, why, why would you think so? Like men only have to have one. I don't, I don't, I don't know the mentality that men have mm -hmm. about fashion, about clothes. Yeah. I'm good to go. I like ladies. <laughs> A lady wants an outfit for every occasion. Wardrobe bado imejala. Yeah, kimsi exactly. Uh -huh. Like, okay, let me give an example with myself. Apparently, I feel like I don't have to have outfits. But when I look at oh my God. wardrobe, I'm like, I think I have outfits. But I don't have for a certain occasion. <laughs> <laughs> every cloth has its own particular event. Exactly. But men, we don't know that. Yeah. We are not going to end Exactly. <laughs> Anyway, man, that's just an allegation. Did you come out to validate your Triton Men conference? We talk about that. So, tell me, you've been doing quite some exemplary work over here, as we can see. Well, I'm loving the bag by itself. And of course, Komade Mote, Bado, Unaza Juan And I'm loving even the inside of it has a bag badge, which is so nice. So, let's talk about this bag, shall we? From the zero work all the way to this, mm -hmm. how long does it take? Uh, it can take me one and a half hours to make that. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, just one and a half hours, yes. inclusive of this. Yes. Wow. So uh, from zero to scratch all the way up. Yes. How does it go? Uh, pardon. How does it go from zero all the way to this? Um, I just start with the fabric mm -hmm. and some sponge inside mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. and I start stitching. I just take measurements and start stitching. All right. L yes. Let's advise someone probably when you go home and as a take for next Dukai. Yeah, this is something very simple mm -hmm. that anyone can do. As long as you know how to use a machine, mm -hmm. you can do it. You just, it's, okay, I will be doing this in a social media platform very soon to mm -hmm. make a bag. Tutorial? Look, yes, a tutorial right. very soon. Uh, because it's a very simple thing and it can bring a lot of income in your life. Mm -hmm. Like if you're doing nothing, it's going to bring good income to you. All right, yeah. let me ask. How... how how many kgs can this carry? Because in Arkani Bakuban, it's quite... Yeah, it's quite a big bag. Mm -hmm. It can carry around okay. 8 kg of something, yeah. 8 kgs? Yeah, unga nina zinaiza to share kono bebe vizuri. Ni kuangalia masla ya wamama. Yes. Wazen, tunachikwa ya matu nabeba nini? No, this one, this one is for makeup. All right. Mm -hmm. if you makeup look, kit. Yeah, if you look in the bags mm -hmm. of ladies, like every lady, Mm -hmm. you'll find a makeup kit bag. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing this, I was just thinking, if a lady buy this bag, they'll want a makeup kit bag. Mm -hmm. So I just make it for them to feel comfortable. And also right. not to search things, mm -hmm. you know? Ata mm uneze -hmm. kasimu, you don't have to keep on searching. Mm -hmm. Kuna time simu inalianga, dem anatafuta simu kwa bag, uh -huh. by the time anapata ilisha katika. So, <laughs> so to say, so mse kena shopping fair, unayakatu hapa ndani? Hey. Hey, man, don't you love this? Me, I'm loving whatever I'm holding. Suji, ni nunulie. Brenda na bukubaya ikitu. We'll talk about that later. But it, it's going to be good. It's going to be good because kuna topi gengwa simu na wachukuangi. Because you don't know where they put their phones. Their phones. It, it's, quite, it's quite a cry that we are having as men association. Anyway, it's good. I'm having a look at even the hoods that you've made. And it's really, really nice. Let's have a look at this. In the hood, Danya. You're in snood. Snood. Okay. Yes. Oh, in the hood, you go up. Uh, we'll have, well, we'll have a look I at it. Right? So, what's the difference between snood, wood, nini, all this stuff? What's Snoods, the difference? It's mm -hmm. the neck. All right. Uh -huh. The neck. You see, mm -hmm. it does not have a cap. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, it have that big neck, but mm -hmm. you can you can cover it just like a cap. All right. So this one comes this yes, way. All right. Let let me try because it's easy to. It's just way easy to lakini. Why fuck you just tap ambana? So this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very nice difference. one. Yeah, it gives the difference. Because mm -hmm. you find there are people who don't want the cap. Mm -hmm. and there are people who want it. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. make for everyone. Mm -hmm. We want to make everyone comfortable. Especially now that the season is very cold and the weather mm -hmm. is very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is unisex? Yeah, this is unisex. Uh -huh. Yeah. So both genders. By the way, what we unisex in both genders. <laughs> so let's talk about what is just next to you. Wow. Having a look at it. So this is a man's blazer. Yes. And you decided to do some yellow coats? Nika high school is a Not really. Uh -huh. It is like a marine a marine outfit. Mm -hmm. 
forces, a marine forces outfit. Mm -hmm. It was it was a challenge to me actually because I've never done such before. And it's all about challenging yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this was a challenge that was drawn to me by a friend. She, he was like, "Show me the thing you can pull this out, and um, I'm giving you a photo wow. of what I want you to do." <laughs> okay. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but I want something exactly like this. Have you ever had pressure from your from my client? Mm -hmm. Yes. I have. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy when I have pressure from my clients and when I have petite clients. You know, there are those people <laughs> who are very specific into details. Was he? Yes. <laughs> he is one of those petite clients right. and I love that mm -hmm. because it challenges me. Mm -hmm. Like, he's like, Shell me, I told you to do this and not this. Wow. So, like, these pockets, I had to redo them. And I'm like, okay. This is what you want. And uh, when I give it to him, mm -hmm. when he came and saw it, when he saw it from a photo, because he has not gotten it yet, mm -hmm. he was like, yes, exactly, this is what I wanted. And I was happy mm -hmm. that the client was contented with it. Wow, so it has to bring contentment. Yes. So pressure is there? Yes, pressure is there, mm -hmm. a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the pressure you learn, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you have the enzyme to do the business better because yes. mm -hmm. i want my client to be comfortable and mm -hmm. i want them to come back again mm -hmm. i don't want them to go and say manze mi si zirudi ku ule fundi ule utaenda atakufanyia vitu zilivile ya nataka si vile we unataka right i want them to feel like i did what they wanted lesson number two ensure that you satisfy your client yes. to your level best do whatever he or she wants but ensure that you satisfy the client this is the hood i believe Yes. All right, no. let's take it. I it's think not I, I, I forgot a hood. You forgot the hood, so it's you only have a snood? Yeah. So the Actually, snood you can wear this and see how it comes. I think this can fit on you. Uh -huh. But yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 put on the hood size. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that later on and take, probably take a selfie, then it's we can post. It's so okay. you can, we, we can have a we look at that later on. Yes. And uh, we, we're going to have some ladies coming along. Uh, I don't know whether they're ready, but it's good for them even to come along so as we can have a look at what they'll be having. Yes, but let's have a look at this kiddo got too. We can probably have a look at these. Okay, okay, so I think now this one can fit me. Yes, <laughs> it can. <laughs> this, this one looks yes, so nice. It can. Where did you get this? The fabric. The fabric itself, yes. I have a supplier from Tanzania mm -hmm. who supply for me this, mm -hmm. but also we can find these locally. They right. are all over there in Isli and in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can find them too. These are the kind of clothes that we find in some of the biggest streets in Isli and the like. The but clothes the clothes are not in Isli. Yes, that's the what I'm fabric. saying. The fabric itself. Yes. Yes, but some of the designs you find them there. Yes. At a at a bit expensive price. Uh not really. Not really. At Isli, not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are a bit different. Yeah, these are a bit bit different. Because mm -hmm. if you look the inside of it, it's mm -hmm. warm. Mm -hmm. It's not just any cotton that I've put. I've put something warm, a fleece mm -hmm. that is going to. You just you just don't have to look good in it. <laughs> you will get the warm. Okay. Yes. But beauty is part of it, and looking yes, good. Yes, the beauty is part of it, but also I want you to feel warm. You see, I don't want you to wear it on a sunny day. Mm -hmm. You can wear it on a cold season. All right. Yes. And I'm loving it. So you yeah. ones, uh, could you are pricing so easy? <laughs> not expensive mm -hmm. actually. I do it at a. Uh, 1,800 only. Oh, that's cheap. Yes, that's very affordable. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are having an offer running for this month, so it's going for 1,500. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time to grab yourself some good kind of things as these. Yeah. This is just 1,500 on offer. Yes. 300 less. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that's so nice. I love it and I love it and I love it. Anything else you do that on this? Um, I make earrings. Uh, please, someone to zoom the earrings. Uh, as uh, this looks so really beautiful. This one, so <laughs> which ones do you make? I make African uh, out out of African, yeah, out of African fabric. Mm -hmm. I make earrings. I think I forgot them somewhere, mm -hmm. but I make them. Wow. Very pretty, and also neck piece. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're not only enclosed under the clothing. No, uh, clothing industry. Mm -hmm. It's very large, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to bring out a look that yourself you look yourself from up to down and you're like i love this wow. so maybe later on in life in mm -hmm. future we are going to go into shoe mm -hmm. so that we can give you a full look from right. head to toe so from just a problem you saw somewhere you have decided to change the entire thing from head to toe yes you're doing earrings you're doing necklaces you're doing 
Ankara and all kind of stuff. So uh, I don't know whether our, our, our slides are ready, but there's something that you sent over. There's some pictures that you sent, and I'd like us to probably to have a look as we talk about them in just a few. I don't know whether the clip is ready. Probably even as we wait for it. Let, let's talk about the business at large. If someone wanted to begin what you have begun, what are some of the things that we call them prerequisites? You must have them. You must have you must have courage mm -hmm. first. All right. Carry around courage mm -hmm. with you. And uh, be positive. Be positive. Because you may have the machine, you may be having the skills, but if you're not positive, mm -hmm. this business is not easy. It's not easy at all. It, it's, it's about positivity mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. being you. Mm -hmm. Be real. Mm -hmm. Know what you want. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know what you want, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're going to give up. People open fashion industry mm -hmm. for one two months and they're like i can't do this anymore all right yes we'll continue with that but let's have a look at the young ladies that we have here i love the design so these let's begin with these how did you get to do all these the the, the red dress yes yes um it was a traditional wedding outfit uh -huh. What I wanted to bring about, I wanted to bring about, I wanted the bride, the, the bride to be, to feel like I am the bride to be. Like, I will not look like any other people because I, I have realized mm. when, you are, when you call people for your traditional wedding, they always look good for the wedding, right. for the traditional mm -hmm. wedding. And you find out we are wearing the same outfit. Mm -hmm. So I knew that this, this outfit will mm -hmm. be difficult for someone to bring out the look mm -hmm. for someone to go for someone else traditional wedding so i came out with this mm -hmm. so that it can bring the puffiness the bright to be the gown thing yes the gown All thing right. so that you can feel like the cinderella you know okay like i am the main i'm the main person in this mm -hmm. thing yes uh -huh. i'm the thing of the day yes i'm the, I'm the thing of the, of the day. day exactly uh -huh. well I, I love the way you have mixed with the red this is a nut of something mm, yeah it's a nut because mm -hmm. i did it from i just thought about it mm -hmm. it just came from my mind mm -hmm. and i was thinking why don't I do the net? Because I don't want the net, like, Muscuto your wedding, net. Okay. Nastaki net. <laughs> I want a net to be seen somewhere. Uh -huh. Where will it be? Mm -hmm. So I had to think through, and mm -hmm. I fixed it somewhere inside. And if she can talk, she can say it's comfortable inside. Okay, the, the net is very stiff. Mm -hmm. It's very stiff. But inside, the mm -hmm. inside, there's something softer that is going to make the person comfortable. All right. Yes. So it's not fully complete to the end, up to here? It's complete from mm -hmm. up but here, soft but there's some soft fabric inside. All so right. that they can feel comfortable. Right. So it. how much is it? It just go for four thousand. All right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Four thousand when you turn a pangama is uh, a tradition. Yeah. Four K on offer. No, this one is not on offer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. This is amazing, and I love the way you have done it. So, have you got the earrings for the same and the necklaces? Uh, like for this outfit, mm -hmm. you just don't need to wear the necklace. Mm -hmm. You just wear earrings, long earrings like this one, mm -hmm. for it not to look so busy. All right. Yes. Let it's it just look. like the dress that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. I don't need to do an a necklace because mm -hmm. I will look busy. Mm -hmm. It will not bring out the look of the outfit. Yes. All right. Let's go now to the next young lady. Well, I'd like just first to come for kindly. And this is the outfit. And uh, well, looks so nice. Thank I'm you. loving the trouser. Let's talk about it. This pant was something okay, that pant, okay. yeah, it's uh -huh. a pant. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was something that I thought about. Africa uh, official. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to the office mm -hmm. and they want to have some African taste of it. Mm -hmm. If she walks into her office the way she's wearing, mm -hmm. I think even the office will be the office fraternity is going to be okay with her. So this is for official day yeah. working days? It's an yeah, it's an right. it's an official trouser. Mm -hmm. You can wear it into your office. Just wear something plain up mm -hmm. and uh you're good to go to the office All and right. you'll uh, be comfortable. I'm loving the, the diamond like so is it that you choose or someone comes and chooses for you? No, for I choose my fabrics. Mm -hmm. I don't send someone for my fabrics. Because mm -hmm. I got my taste. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So if by chance I come and I want this particular design, not necessarily with these, mm -hmm. it's still my taste. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you can come and want your taste. Uh -huh. I, I will give you a free room to choose your own design mm -hmm. and your own taste. Because we have different, mm -hmm. sorry, because we have different tastes, you mm -hmm. know, and preferences. All right, probably one of you can just stand here. Just one of you can just stand here. The other one can just stand over there. Mm -hmm. Good. Or probably just at the far end, Kindly. Just right here. Thank you very much. So let's, ha let's talk about the entire business. H how is it being 
embraced in the country? Um, in the country, I think the fashion industry is kind of forgotten. Right. Because mm -hmm. people think like, ah, nifundi wanguotu. But what I tell people, even the ready-made clothes that are imported to our country, mm -hmm. they were hard-made. Nothing, right. nothing is made from a machine in Ekwe, in Aenda, in Akua. Mm -hmm. It's hard made. Even when you, you, if you can Google how gowns are made, people stitch them. Right. But in, in our country, mm -hmm. we don't embrace that. We embrace more what we import rather what we have in our country. Yes. All right. I, I, love, I love the way you have done it. Probably you can just go through camera one, guys. Thanks very much. You can just go through camera one. And, and Shalmi, there's so much, there's so much that you have talked about and people in the country at large, we have not embraced really so much of our local staff. Exactly. Why would you think that people haven't? Uh, just like we say, women are our own enemies. Okay. Even I think our nation, we are still our own enemy for the growth of our economy. Because you find people are, they, they trust so much things that are from, made from outside rather than things that we make in Kenya. You hear someone is like, I need something. I need a fabric that is not Kenyan made. So has someone ever come to you and told you that? Yes. Can so you get you can can you get a fabric that is not Kenyan made? That's not local made. All these you get locally? Um they are, yeah, they're locally, uh -huh. but they are not locally made. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you have twisted it anyway. <laughs> but all of them are shell shell share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe in the future I'm also looking forward to a to a point where I will be able to go outside mm -hmm. and maybe create something in my mind and tell the manufacturer, make this fabric for me. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Make this for me. Mm -hmm. So I will have fabrics that are not locally made for my clients. All right, yes. I, I, love, I love what you've done. And we, as we wind up, I don't know the clip is ready right now. And we are hoping that the clip is ready. So anyway, as the, okay, the clip is not ready as of now. Uh, let's have a look at it in a broad manner. If someone wanted to begin the business, what best idea would you give them today about fashion and design? Fashion and design, the best idea that I can give is... Or rather the best advice that you can tell someone, by the way, this is the way to go, this is not the way to go. Just like I said earlier, to be positive. Mm -hmm. And then learn to talk to people. Let just wa know what people want. Know what people want. Listen to people. Go to conferences where they're talking about fashion. You will, your mind will be open up. Mm -hmm. You will know that this is what people ha want from other fashion designers. Mm -hmm. You will hear fashion designers saying that this is what most of my clients want. Mm -hmm. You find like 10 of us, we have got something that is very common that most of our clients want. Mm -hmm. Learn to listen. Learn to listen to your client. Just don't be so personal All about right. the business. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's your business, mm -hmm. but don't be so personal. All right, let's, the slides are ready. Here we go. Let's have a look at the slides. And as we've, of course, discussed about what you have been doing and looking at some of the things that you have been doing, shall we? This one among them. And yes. uh, even I understand that you also make for the weddings? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is such a nice job that you're doing. But we can just have a look at that. These are just some of the things that you've been doing. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is something I've been doing. And how, how, how do you do that design for the flip? For the flip? Mm -hmm. It's just a circular design. Mm -hmm. I wanted to bring out something. You know, ladies, mm -hmm. they, they, mm -hmm. they, they want to that. hide it. They, mm -hmm. they, they want to hide it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, for you to feel comfortable, let mm -hmm. me just make something is going to, that is going to be free and comfortable for you. And I just brought it out. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's how you came out with it. Yes. So talking about the, 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 the weddings, you do both men and women ladies yes, for the weddings? Yes, yes, I mm -hmm. do both men and women. All right. Yeah. So as we wind up, where can people find you? I'm around Savo Road mm -hmm. in a building named as Maximum Business Center, mm -hmm. uh, third floor, mm -hmm. room 52. All right. Yes. Where can we find the social media? Um, in uh, IG, I'm um, Shelsha Fashions. And even Facebook, we are Shelsha Fashions. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think. Shell, S-H-E-L, S-H-E-R. S-H-E-L, S-H-E-A. All right. R. Good. Yes. Many thanks for coming, Shell. Welcome we much appreciate. Much. And that has been Shell Myth.
and that's her business and that's what she does for a living. Well, what, what do you do for a living? That's the big question of the day. And Barimo is coming up next. It has been such an awesome time to have you. And of course, our fashion and designer. Don't talk to us about some of the things that she does. Well, join Barimo coming up next. This is why 254 don't ask da. Thanks so very much for coming. Welcome. What big up? <laughs> <laughs>